Well, okay, we're gonna start off this video with Magic Training Arena. I'm not saying that we're gonna do this for the whole video, but I'll try to do as much as I can. In fact, we may not even unlock a single item because I may just collect one like a telekinetic only and nothing else. I cannot tell you the exact time how long this took me because I reset my XP gain, but it probably took me like four or maybe yeah, probably four hours or so to get these 500 telekinetic points. Now the thing is, I don't even know how much the items cost. And I really don't wanna check right now, but I'm very sure you can buy infinity boots and like infinity gloves, like fairly cheap. Maybe it's like 120 points each. So I'm gonna log off now because I'll be logged off in the next 10 minutes. It is time to do graveyard, but this time I'm going to reset the experience. I wanna see how many points can you get in an hour. You can probably Google that on Wiki but that's no fun. Now also, this time I have bones to peaches because usually when you come to this place, you can only cast bones to bananas. So actually it doesn't matter because I'll probably gonna be using the redemption prayer instead because that's just easier way to heal. Maybe there's even better way to do this, I'm not sure, but I think they give the exact same amount of points, but you can just heal yourself because peaches heal eight instead of two, I think for bananas. Uh, but again, I'll just use prey pots for that. So when I came with those prey pots in this place, I now have, I pretty much collected 250 pizzas points. Although I haven't been in here for one full hour even. Okay, I've been in here for one hour now, and what is that, like 300 points an hour? Even though I slacked in the end, but it's still a lot of points. What's slacking? 300? It is now time to go to sleep. 500 points have been obtained. The last one that is left is the alchemist. I didn't know that you get like 117k magic XP an hour in this place where if I deposit 125k as well. And this gave so much XP an hour as well. So in one single hour, I got almost 300 pizzas points. Dude, this is so much better compared to that telekinetic that I was doing. And I'm glad that I've done it first because it was so slow. Now the rest of them are going much quicker, but it is still super click intense. So... I'll be right back once I collect, like, I think one of the points you need a little bit more, and I think it's alchemy. Another hour has passed. I'm still keeping up the XP an hour, so I spent in here two full hours, massively clicking intense. Kind of getting tired of this, but it's still 300 points an hour. Look at this, 592 in two hours exactly. Well, I believe this is close to three hours now. Almost 900 points. I kind of want to push to 1,000 and let's just stop right there, I think. So there's actually a limit of how many points you can have, but I'm not sure if it's above 1,000 for this. Oh, you can still go above 1,000. I've been holding off for such a long time, doing all that telekinetic and alking. I'm very curious, though, how much is the top? Please tell me that it's like 500 and not 700 each, and I'll be just fine with that. Oh, it's only 400. 400, 400, 450. See, Alchemist is a little bit higher. So all that work that I've done, I, I would say a minimum, like, 10 hours, or at least that's what it felt like. I can buy one single collection log item, but I'm not gonna be doing that. I'm gonna buy infinity gloves. You didn't okay. hear this beautiful voice. Wait, uh, boots? I'm just gonna assume that I never bought boots. Please. Okay. Okay, thank you. Now I got 120. Wait, that's it? So two items. And there's still one, two. Could go for a hat maybe. I have alchemist and I have enchantment. All I need is telekinetic and a little bit of graveyard. Nice, nice. Seven out of 11. Let's make it eight out of 11. And only three items will be remaining. Wait, how much are infinity gloves? Still one mil? Oh, is that even... Who is... What the hell is this price? Who's profiting from this? I'm really not sure what was the last clip that I shown to you, but yesterday, from the very morning to the very evening when I went to sleep, I spent in this place. Not just at the telekinetic, but just doing everything. And the day before, I spent maybe like six hours as well. So at least 20 hours, I've already been nonstop at this stupid place. I'm getting the hell out of this place. I wanted to collect a thousand telekinetic uh, points, but... Bro, they're so slow. It's like 150 an hour or something. And what do I have currently? A thousand graveyard, which which probably you haven't seen. Yep, that's I spent not that much, I guess, time. We got 10,000 enchantments, 656 alchemist. Wait, can I just buy the book? By the way, the bottoms are more expensive than the top. You see, top is 400 each, the bottom is 450. I'll just buy a mage book, I think. Why not? I think it should be also quite expensive, right? So let's do this. Collection log slot mm -hmm. completed. Was it worth it? 3.2 million in like 20 hours. What do you think? 
8 out of 11. Also, Mage's Book Unlocked, so it's like the most expensive thing. I didn't go for the hat just because I could. Maybe a month ago, I did a little bit of Mahogany Homes, but I don't think I uploaded a single clip. So I already unlocked a plank sack, but I remember I already had a little bit of points for like carpet and boots. It, it, it's not much, but I mean, let's just unlock it. Collection log slot yeah. completed. Yeah, I'm not doing this by the way. It's uh, it's too click intense now. When I started doing this whole thing, I had like 7,000 nature runes. Now I have 1.7k. I legit have to buy them now. I just calculated I need 1,200 alchemist points. So I'll be right back once I collect 1,100 remaining, which should take like four hours of non-stop alking help. Please. So I was done with magic training arena and I wanted to do something AFK. So I checked my collection log and I saw that I was missing one Tazar item. The obsidian helmet was missing. But anyway, you can kill them kind of like greater neck reels where you tag like four or five of them and then just barrage them. That would be probably the fastest way to kill them, but it's not as AFK because sometimes you barrage the wrong NPC because they walk all around and sometimes, well, sometimes you start auto retaliating to a mage that's like so far away. It's not even like melee distance. It messes it up a little bit. It's not as AFK as something like uh, with range, let's say. You can just tag four of them, five of them, and you can just fully AFK. Nothing else will be tagged accidentally. So at this point, if you look at my inventory, I have 10 obsidian items that I've collected over the past 10 hours that I've been in this place. And I'm not even sure how close I am. The drop rate is one in 2000 for the helmet. What? Oh my God, I got it. What? No way. Look, this is a loot from like 10 hours of these things. If I add this to canvas, you can see today I spent like five hours, but yesterday as well, I spent the same amount of time. And you can see the loot right here. I'm going to add this up. Uh, the drop rate is one in 2000. However, I also did more KC than it's shown in here because sometimes they drop nothing. And if they drop nothing, then it doesn't add a kill count. So now if you go to collection log and if you go to other, it's now even more green. Like look how little there's left in here. You see, I'm gonna be six hour logged soon in 30 minutes as well. Look how lucky I got on obsidian, just one of each. And this already took like ages to get. Like I spent 10 hours just in this video, but I've obviously spent more like previously. The staff was actually one in 4,000, but I got it previously like a few months ago and it took me like only 400 KC or something. So I got super lucky on that one. The helmet could have taken even longer because yes, the staff is one in 4,000, but you know, these mobs have like no HP, I think like 70 maybe. And these guys are like 200, man. It's like killing greater neck reels and you need to kill 2,000 of them. But yes, the Zat is now fully green and I don't have to do this again. But if I collect this, I made 3.8 million. I am back to magic training arena and that is 12,000 enchantment points. I never have to do enchantment on this account ever again. That's enough to buy all three missing infinity pieces. And however long later, that is 1,200 alchemy points. No longer do I have to come back to this place potentially ever again. Now for graveyard, I got 520 points and I need 1.1k in total. So I'm two and a half hours away from that. Well, hello everybody. I just woke up and I'm not sure if yesterday before I went to sleep, if I collected all my graveyard, yep, got all of them. So I collected all alchemist, all enchantment and all graveyard points that I ever need. I do not have any telekinetic though, and I don't plan on getting them right now. They are like 150 points an hour. It is not that far away though. I could spend the next seven hours and unlock the full collection log in the ma magic training arena. Now this may seem weird because I'm fishing ones at the moment, but I googled and apparently it's the fastest way to get the heron pet. If you're not like tick manipulating like tuna or something weird like that. The drop rate is one in 170,000 though. That's how many ones I have to catch before I would be just on drop rate to get the fishing pet. And that's why I had to catch all of these raw karam wanges because I'll probably stay in this place for a very long time and yeah just afk I just drop them I don't even bank them I just feel like it's way more relaxing this way and every time I edit I come to this place yes it is one in 170k to get the pet 
but slowly maybe in a year who knows and i'm not even 99 fishing so i'm also getting some fishing experience okay guys thank you for watching <laughs>